In this video, we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a Node.js CRUD API, and then we're going to ask it to create some documentation for it. So let's see what it can do on that. So first of all, let's create the API. So create a CRUD API in Node.js. Okay, uh, so now we're going to ask it, can you create document documentation for the code above? Let's see if it kicks out. Okay, so it's looking good so far. Actually tells us what the endpoint is, what the response back we get if it's 200, so if it's okay, and then it kicks out what should be returned. What happens if we get a single product? How we're gonna create a product? And the body content we need for that as well, and name and price, and the response we get back from the API. This is the update of the product. It's good that it tells us the responses we get there as well. So we got the 200 for okay, 400 for bad request and 404 for not found. Okay, it's actually really good. That's really good. So I can see this working really well if we need to quickly create, let's say we have a block of code. Let's say we generated this ourselves and we wrote this API ourselves, we can actually just pop this into, into here and say, can you create the documentation for this? And it just spits it straight out for us. Now, obviously the benefit here is this could save someone hours of work sitting there writing out documentation. Um, but are you learning anything at the end of it? Maybe not, but I mean, it's documentation. If you've created this code yourself, you really should know how it works. So using something like this shouldn't be too much of an issue. If you found this video interesting, hit the subscribe button and also check out this video on the screen now where I compare ChatGPT and Copilot.